Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Denise Ustjnr reveals in human death threats from opposing fans as he lays in to Spanish authorities for handling of racist abuse. As his hometown of Rio de Janeiro turns off the lights of Christ the Redeemer statue in solidarity. Denise Ustjnr had released a damning statement insisting the racial and immoral abuse he had received while playing for Real Madrid this season is inhuman. The Brazilian winger has been serially targeted with racism and hateful messages on 10 separate occasions, with racist chanting of Valencia on Sunday another vile example, and he has also been subjected to death threats from rival supporters at some away games with Madrid this season. Vinicius Lalaga future is in doubt as the player, while committed to Madrid who have opened a legal case for hate crime at the Mistala, reportedly evaluates his position in Spain. The 22-year-old superstar has remained largely silent since the upsetting scenes that took place at Valencia on Sunday, but has now lashed out at perpetrators who have sought to make his life a misery. Meanwhile, his hometown of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil turned off the lights of the famous Christ the Redeemer statue on Corvocado in solidarity with the player. Vinicius posted a picture of the statue bathed in darkness with a statement saying, Black and imposing. Christ the Redeemer was just like that. An action of solidarity that moves me. But I want, above all, to inspire and bring more light to our struggle. I really appreciate all the chain of affection and support I have received in the last few months. Both in Brazil and around the world. I know exactly who's who. Count on me because the good ones are the majority and I won't give up. I have a purpose in life and if I have to suffer more and more so that future generations don't go through similar situations, I'm ready and prepared. The Cristo Redentor Archdiocesan Sanctuary said, We, repudiate the racist attacks suffered by the Brazilian player Vinicius Jr. this Sunday, May 21st, during a game between Real Madrid and Valencia. The, lighting, is, turned off as a symbol of the collective struggle against racism and in solidarity with the player and all those who suffer prejudice around the world. Writing online alongside a video that shows all the separate incidents of abuse he has been made to suffer, the Madrid talent wrote, Every round away from home is an unpleasant surprise. And there were many this season. Death wishes, hand doll, many criminal screams. All registered. But the speech always falls on isolated cases, a fan. No, these are not isolated cases. They are continuous episodes spread across several cities in Spain, and even in a television program. The evidence is there in the video. Now ask, how many of these racists had names and photos exposed on websites? I answer to make it easier. Zero he added. None to tell a sad story or make those fake public apologies. What is missing to criminalize these people? And punish clubs sportingly? Why don't sponsors charge La Liga? Don't televisions bother to broadcast this barbarity every weekend? The problem is very serious and communications no longer work. Not blaming me to justify criminal acts either. You are not football, you are inhuman. The post has since been viewed more than 7 million times on Twitter, with the accompanying video showing the astonishing extent of abuse that Vinicius has had to endure while playing football. The disgraceful acts have been condemned by some of Laliga's most prominent figures, while others have attempted to downplay the nature of Vinicius' complaints. League president Javier Tebas astonishingly insisted Spanish football doesn't have a problem with racism and labeled Vinicius' criticism as unfair. Meanwhile, Barcelona manager Xavi issued a message of support for the Brazilian flair player and accused football of being the only profession in which insults are accepted. Vinicius was also comforted by Real Madrid president Florentino Perez. Perez held a meeting with the player on Monday where he explained how the club will defend him, 